I'm pleased to be joined by David Park II, the CEO of AAO, and Mark Blumenkrantz, award-winning innovator and doctor extraordinaire. We're here to talk about some, uh, some exciting news that they announced at uh, OIS today. David, I'll let you sort of, uh, I've teed it off, I'll let you take a swing and explain the new partnership between AAO and Digicide. Be delighted to, Tom. The, when the Academy started IRIS about three and a half years ago, we did it as a quality improvement tool. It became obvious right away that it had other values. One was, and 17,000 ophthalmologists in the United States take advantage of this, it's used for quality reporting for payment purposes under Medicare. The other, that quite frankly we didn't anticipate right away was how valuable it would be, valuable it would be for a generation of new knowledge, scientific discovery. And as you can imagine, uh, this has value to industry, whether it's learning about disease, natural history, comparative effectiveness, side effects, uh, planning for clinical trials, things like this. There was a commercial end to this. Commercialization is not our core competence. I mean, we are a membership organization. Uh, at the same time, we recognize that for patients, ultimately, if we could put a more powerful tool in the hands of industry, big data, they might be able to accelerate the innovation process, doing something which took less time, was less costly, and lead to better outcomes of their processes. We did a proof of principle. We know it works. We also recognized we needed a good partner. So we did our due diligence. We looked at a number of potential options, and we settled on a commercialization partnership with Digicite, founded by Mark Blumenkrantz to my left, wherein the Academy still owns Iris, but we have licensed the commercialization to Digicite. So Mark, we've talked about Digicite before. I know it's been one of your pet projects. What does this mean? Let's talk about what your intentions are with the data, and what does this mean for Digicite? Well, I think Digicite was really founded on the premise that obtaining better data, whether it's in an office, at home, uh, with greater frequency and great fidelity, would enable better patient outcomes, and that had great value to all constituents, certainly for patients, uh, certainly for physicians, and also for industry, and I think we're all in this together. And we viewed this is really a, an ideal opportunity to bring together really important data streams. IRIS is just, if I could only say, is just truly a remarkable accomplishment uh, to have done this all in four years. It represents the largest, most comprehensive database across all of medicine today, and it, as such, it's enormously valuable in multiple different dimensions, certainly for the membership of the American Academy of Ophthalmology, for patient reporting, peer benchmarking, for improving the quality of practice. Uh, there's never been anything like this before that allowed people to understand where they stood in the spectrum, how to improve their practices, how to provide better patient care. And then as David said, using it as a tool for public, uh, public health, for clinical research, for development of new technology, it really has absolutely an infinite degree of potential, and so we saw this as a natural coming together of missions. It's our, it has been our mission at Digicite uh, to, to develop this uh, for the benefit of patients and physicians in the profession, but to do it in such a way that it was commercial, truly commercializable, that there was a revenue stream, that it provided for some reasonable degree of profit, but the mission of the company was not profit per se, but rather to provide better medicine, and we think that by adding this uh, phenomenal database uh, to our database, uh, which looks at different streams of data, images and out of office data, to the, the coming together of all, to that, all of that was really a, re a remarkable opportunity, plus having the commercial infrastructure in terms of um, the data analytics, the sales and marketing, finance, HR, all the other things, because this is something that really requires, I can imagine, that this will grow very quickly into a very large organization uh, that really changes the way medicine is practiced, certainly the way ophthalmology is practiced. Yeah, and, and if I, the word that Mark used was mission. And one of the reasons that 
it's a nice fit between the Academy and DigiSite is that not just at Mark's level, but all through the major investors, the leadership team of the company, they recognize this is not going to work unless it's a win for the Academy mission and the Academy members. The Academy members win on this too. They will still have Iris for all the things that are important to them with the same privacy protections, et cetera. The things that Digisite will add into an analytic platform, they will benefit from as well. How does this take shape within Digisite? When do you when do you begin to work with clients, and how does this change the the path of the company? Because you raise some money as well. Does this introduce new new uh, directions for Digisite? Well, it provides the capital uh, and the base, the corporate base, to be able to build it out. I'm going to let David address some of the ways in which this transition will occur, but it goes without saying that uh, the company's mission will be to realize this vision that David's speaking about, about creating some, uh, an element of, again, as he said, Iris remains unchanged as far as all the significant benefits to the membership and to the, and to the uh, pu public health and community, but this just provides essentially a mechanism to bring in some of the more advanced analytics capabilities, some of the uh, interfacing between industry and uh, the IRIS database and to sort of add structure to that. But David, in terms of the transition, maybe I'll turn that back over to you. I think the, the short answer to it is that it's the Academy still owns the database. DigiSide is commercializing it. We will therefore be partners in all of this going forward. And so that as we mature as a sort of a combined entity, if you will. This is going to always involve the active engagement of both parties. And so we have certain things that we will always do better than Digisite, and Digisite has stuff they will do better than we are. This is why we think it really is, to, to use an overused word, it's a great synergy. So if I'm a potential client, that would like to have access to this data to generate a report that would help me do whatever I do. Is that data available today or is this going to require more building of an infrastructure within Digicide or between so, the some two? Some of that data is available today. We've been commercializing Iris at the Academy successfully for two years. Okay. Uh, with a number of companies. We, and that's been the proof of principle. We know the data has value mm -hmm. uh, and we know that uh, it's something we can do with a high level of data integrity. We'll do it better now. So we don't think there's going to be any, we're out of the market for two years figuring out how to do this. We, we're open for business now. Excellent. That's one point that was very important, in fact, obviously for not so much even Digisite, but Digisite's investors and the investors in this combined partnership was the fact that the Academy was already doing commercialization and showing proof of, I would say it was better than proof of concept, but it certainly was very powerful proof of concept that the data was valuable and uh, the, the AAO, rather than going out and even marketing it, it was just was fielding inquiries because everyone out there recognizes that the power of big data today and this is, and as a result, I think it's just a question of building on their success. Mm -hmm. Just taking what they've yeah. established and just adding layer upon layer of analytics, layer upon layer of a commercial interface um, and all the other features that would go into building a modern data company. I mean, we're seeing this with other companies, Flatiron and Oncology, others have tried. No one has, to, this, to my way of thinking, to this point in time, has done it as well as the AAO and IRIS and that includes commercial entities. And so I think it's, we, we send our congratulations to David and the Academy for accomplishing what many people said could never be done, let alone in three and a half years. We were surprised too. So what, what, do, you, what do you see, final question, the outcome of this being over the next two to three years? What, who will benefit, what kind of clients will benefit, what kind of innovation may be furthered by this? What, do you, what would you like to see happen? Well, I'll speak first for the members and for science and let Mark speak for industry. I think the members are going to see that the core value they get from Iris now, not only is it unchanged in a negative, there's no negative to it, they're going to have new analytic platforms to help them benchmark their own performance, 
uh, determine what kind of personalized learning plans they need to embark upon to give the best quality care. And we're going to have data from new sources to help in the scientific discovery process. We're also announcing at this meeting that Research for Vent Blindness has entered into an agreement with the Academy to support scientific research and to fund new investigation. This is huge for the profession. And so I think science and the members and their patients will win that way. And Mark, you can speak to the commercial side. Sure, so in addition to that, I mean, everything starts with the patient. And so all, everything that we do at Digicite and as an academy member and everything that the AO does, really at the end of the day, it's all about patient care, improving patient care, improving outcomes, hopefully bending the cost curve. And so I think in that regard, we, we look forward to working hand in hand with industry, with our partners in industry, and helping them to accomplish that. Because we see this as a partnership that even goes beyond the academy and Digicite, but really to all of the uh, to all of industry. So for instance, just in the area of identifying unmet needs, this is a completely unique tool. I don't think anyone had any idea what the scale and scope of myopic choroidal neovascularization was right. in the United States. We now know to, to, with a high degree of specificity and, and accuracy what it is. Are there novel treatments for that? In other words, uh, what are the areas to look at? And then looking at something on the other side of the equation, orphan diseases, what are, how many patients are there actually mm -hmm. that are being seen and treated for Leber's congenital amaurosis or Leber's hereditary diseases? And I think, I think another area that I think it will be really powerful and very welcome will be uh, in the area of clinical trial execution. I think we all struggle with identifying where are the patients, what are their entry criteria, how do we find them, and I think in doing that, we really serve a dual good uh, on the one hand, I think industry is able to execute trials quickly, make determinations about what works, and I think it's better for patients because they can have an expedited path towards finding trials uh, for novel treatments that are not otherwise available in the, in the practice. And so I think it's a two-way street where industry is looking for patients, patient is looking, patients are looking for new treatments, even if they're not yet approved, but they're in the process of hopefully being approved, and I think that's another powerful way. And I think just in general, uh, everybody understanding how the ecosystem works. We're in a period of, of rapid transition in the way healthcare is delivered, how it's paid for. I think this data um, uh, is going to be enormously helpful in pe people navigating that and seeing the change on a more granular level, on a liter literally on a month-to-month right. -month basis. And so I just see, and I think I'm only scratching the surface of uh, all the things that will be possible when you really know what's going on out there and it's on a real-time basis as opposed to periodic audits or queries on very narrow or selected topics. That's terrific. Well, we're very happy that you announced this uh, partnership at OIS at AO. It's all about partnerships here and, and making connections, so it seems very appropriate. And again, thank you for doing so and look forward to tracking the progress going forward. Partnership and shared values. I think we all value yeah the same things uh, about doing it for the benefit of the right people, and that is the patients, and also doing it doing it well. That is but technically, do, uh, doing it technically well and doing it with uh, the right interest in, in, our, in our hearts. And I think we can honestly say that that'll be true for both of us. And Mark and I appreciate the opportunity to share something that we both really believe is going to be transformative for our profession. We'll be looking forward to tracking the progress. Thank you so much. It's been great. Thank you, Tom. Thank you.